Welcome back to I Teach. We are continuing in this video with the topic probability, but instead we're going to focus on likely and unlikely. When we use the term likely, we are saying that it's a large chance that something can happen. When we use the term unlikely, we are saying that it is a small chance of something happening. As you can see on the board, I have a box full of blocks. Let's see how we can use likely and unlikely to tell about the chances of these things happening. The instruction says write likely or unlikely. Part A. What is the probability of us choosing a triangle? Hmm. When we look at the box, do we see a lot of triangles or a little? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a whole lot of triangles. So does that mean that we have a large chance of pulling a triangle or a small chance? The correct answer is we have a large chance. So because we have more triangles inside the box, the answer is it is likely to select a triangle. Let us look at the next question. What is the probability of choosing a rectangle? Let us look at the box. Do we have a lot of rectangles in the box? I see about one, two, three, four. Hmm. Can we say that it is a large chance to pull a rectangle or a small chance to pull a rectangle? The correct answer is it's a small chance. So the probability of choosing a rectangle is unlikely. Let us look at the next question. What is the probability of choosing a square? I will let you do this one. It seems that we only have three squares in our box. So that means it is a small chance of us selecting a square. Because the chances are small, we will write the term unlikely. If you got that, great job. Let's look at the last question. What is the probability of choosing a circle? I'll give you five seconds. Is it likely or unlikely? In looking at the box, we see that we have many circles. We have a lot of large circles and we have small circles. Therefore, we know that the answer is likely. It is likely that we will have or choose a circle because there's a large chance that this can happen. So our answer is likely. If you got this correct, then you understand probability using the terms likely and unlikely. Don't forget to subscribe as more videos are soon to come.